Have you ever been stranded by a car that won't start? Well, let me show you some ways to help prevent that from happening ever again here on My Younger Life. Have you ever had one of those days, one of those where you go get groceries at the grocery store and you're loading all your groceries in the car, car got you there fine, you come out, it won't start. There's your ice cream melting in the sun. You have to rely on a good Samaritan to come along and give you a jump off so you can go get on your merry way home and you don't trust the car after that. Well, one of the things that could have been wrong is the battery and maybe it's not the battery's fault. Maybe it's the owner's fault. You really need to do some preventive maintenance on that battery. And I'm going to show you how. If you haven't seen my video on pre-trip inspection, you need to. Battery is one of the things that we take care of before a trip. Or you can carry those jumper cables just in case. This battery is in really good shape. You can see um, the terminals look pretty clean. Uh, it's a fairly new battery. They do have dates on them. This one you can't see. It's probably down on one of the sides, but it's usually a red dot sticker. Um, and it'll have the month slash year. They're usually good for three years. It depends on how much money you put into the battery, how long they last. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to check the fluid levels in these caps. For that, you need a flathead screwdriver. So we're going to pop these caps. Don't be afraid. We're going to look. There is fluid. Hmm. I think this battery could use a little fluid. Let me show you. These are pretty dry. You really want to have it come up to the edge of that. So I'm going to add a little distilled water. It's really, yeah, to those. Since we did notice that our cells are a little dry, we're going to add a little distilled water because you don't want a lot of minerals, especially if you have some type of system like a town or something that um, treats their water. It doesn't matter if it gets all over the place, it's just water. It's just distilled water. We're not gonna overfill, we're just gonna do a little bit there. Looks a lot better. All right, there we go. Set that aside. Next, we are going to uh, put those caps back on. We don't want to get anything else in there. It goes this way. Sorry about that. You don't want to get that in your eyes. Wash your hands if you get any of that. But that's okay. It doesn't hurt you to do that. You always want to keep those cells, those cells wet. It doesn't need to be full. Don't fill them up. About halfway, you're fine. Next, we're going to remove this terminal. This is our ground. And to do that, we're going to use a wrench, and it depends on your terminals, what size. I love these cobalt wrenches uh, that I got my husband for Christmas. Don't you love how I do that? Get him some toys and I get to play with them. Um, these are really neat how they work. Um, I'm not going to be able to use this in on this battery terminal, but we're going to loosen these. Always the negative. If you want to know which one that is, there's actually a dash here that says negative, and there's a positive under that side. Also, the positive end, the hot end, will have other stuff. It'll be bigger. Most of the time it's red. Sometimes it's orange or yellow, but it's never, it's never small like this end. It always has other things going to it. So we're going to remove this. So now there's no power. But don't let this come in contact with other metal surfaces because it could ground out. Also, we have water on there. We don't want that. Um, just stick it right there. Now we don't have power because we've disconnected the negative side. So let me show you how to clean these terminals. These terminals are actually really clean, but you can clean them several ways. There is 
a remove battery acid. We use this a lot. Um, you spray it on, let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then use a water hose to wash it off, and you're good to go. Or, this is a good tool to have. We've actually used this, as you can see, it's quite old. But it's a really neat tool. You have this cleaner for your terminal. So you can clean your terminal with that. One time I got, I was stranded at a gas station coming home from work. Had to get my son to come get me and help me jump the car, my, my Jeep off. And it took us forever to finally get it to jump off. Well, we finally got it jumped off and I drove straight to the local car parts store. In this case, it was an Advance Auto. Um, this is really neat. Let me show you how this works. So we use that in. Now you open up and you have the end for your term, your uh, post, your terminal. This was your post. This is your terminal. Anyway, so I was stranded at that gas station and he picked me up. He, like I said, he helped me jump off. I went to an advanced store and they will check your battery. So if you think you have something wrong with your battery, I advise any time your battery goes dead or strands you somewhere that you go right to them. They'll put it on a machine. They'll do a diagnostic. They'll tell you sometimes a cell can be bad in your battery. Sometimes it can be the battery is old and needs to be replaced. Sometimes it can be your alternator. That's a whole other ball of yarn. Whole other issue entirely because this is what starts your car the alternator is what keeps your car running and the alternator charges the battery so they're, they kind of work in tandem but um anyway i don't want to get too technical but they told me in my case uh, i was really embarrassed my terminal had and uh, post had rusted and it wasn't getting a good connection they cleaned the post up and what do you know i go home didn't charge me a dime. So you can use those guys. They're really good at helping out. And then if you have to, they sell batteries right there to you and they'll come and install it for you. So yeah, they clean my terminal good. Next, the things I can do is put a little preventative on there. Sometimes it's like this ooky gel. It looks kind of looks like Vaseline. Or you can use this spray. I like the spray because I don't like the goopy stuff. There you go. That should help your battery last much longer than it would if you gave it no attention at all. It also decreases the chances that you'll ever be stranded. Now, of course, this won't keep you from ever being stranded again, but it will help lessen the likelihood that a battery will ever do it. Also, bear in mind that batteries do go bad, but it wouldn't hurt to check them once in a while, open the hood, look at those terminals. I've done it before and had this big mass that looked like gray cauliflower all over those posts. That's an acid and it needs to be removed because it'll ruin your battery. So if you like this video and you think it will help you, you'll also want to check out my video on preventive maintenance before that road trip. I'll put that in the link below. Uh, give me a like, thumbs up, give me a subscribe. I appreciate it and stay tuned for more informative videos here on My Younger Life. Thanks for watching.